Hello and welcome to part 15 of the Generals, Chesham United on Magoobidge. We're in the Conference South, it's season 3. We're nine games into the new season and things are not actually going too badly. Um, let's just have a look at our schedule first, let's just show you that. So the, we saw the opening day of the season, we won 1-0 and then we followed that up with a 4-0 win at Bath. Um, we then drew away at Western Supermare. Um, we then lost badly at home to Dartford 5-1. Uh, we then won two games against Oxford City and Hampton and Richmond. We had another heavy defeat at home this time, um, sorry, away this time to Woking. We then beat St Albans, but we lost a really frustrating game against Staines, and we actually missed a penalty in that game as well, which was frustrating. And then we were knocked out <clears throat> away to Biddeford in the FA Cup. It's worth noting that these two defeats, the big defeats, I rotated the team to play almost like a second 11, not my best 11, just to give them some match time and it backfired on me big time. Anyway, back to the table. So the table, we find ourselves ninth. We are on 16 points with a game in hand on everybody else. Um, Dartford's also got a play, they've got a game in hand, but we are currently a point outside the playoffs and we are eight points off the lead. Um, we've made such a good start compared to other seasons. And we're now going to play the next two games. We're going to be playing Weymouth, who are second bottom. They've only drawn two games. They've lost seven. They haven't won a single game. Weymouth will be the first game, followed by Chippenham, who are also down there in 18th. So hopefully two more wins should push us up into the playoff positions. So the team for the game will be Girling. It's going to be Preston, Jameson, Yao and Campbell. Hodge, Mingin, Link. McNeil pushed slightly forward with Jowers supporting Ryan up front. Standard flexible, no team instructions. Here we go. So here we go. If we can win this game, it'll be fantastic. I'm asking for the players to play much better than they did the last game. As usual, more to come from every single one of them. Right, here we go. Come on, Chesham. This lot haven't even won a game all season. Let's hope that they're not going to. It's not going to be against us that they do. We have a corner. Link takes it, cleared. Comes out to Preston, McNeil back post, into the side netting. Early chance for us. Their right back is on sixty-five percent fitness. Right. Let me put a team instruction on here. I've got McNeil push slightly forward, exploit the left flank. I'm going to push him backwards. The defender who's struggling. He's only on 62%. We're going, to, we're going to isolate him with McNeil. And hopefully McNeil can push him backwards and cause him all sorts of problems. Right, they've got the ball. They're looking to build from a throw in. They've got men over. They should come wide. They do. Marsh gets the cross in. Goalkeeper makes a save, but they've scored the rebound. Typical, they've not won a game all season, they're one up against me. Given all the time in the world, get the ball wide. To be fair, Girling, good reaction save first time round, but can't do nothing about the follow-up. Right, we've got a highlight straight from the kickoff. Campbell with the ball to Yao. Yao looks for the ball to Ryan, finds him. Defender makes the challenge. They're going to build again. They are. Right. Let's push on right. Mingi shuts that ball down. Balls looks over the top. Spencer Adams mops up. Backs to Truman. This is a long highlight. What's to come of it? Right. Campbell picks it up and heads it out to Hodge, who plays it to Jowers. Jowers looks wide. Oh, the defender's made a mistake. Ryan's in and Ryan scores. The right back who's struggling for fitness here struggles to deal with the ball. Tries to control it. Chests it straight into Ryan's path, who's on it. And scores. That's 1-1 one, one after 20 minutes. We've got free kick. Hodge floats it into the box. Ryan's going to pick it up. No, they're going to clear it. Free kick was wasted. Come to absolutely nobody. Right, Campbell lumps it back forward. McNeil tries to head it in the box, but it goes to no one. See if we can keep them pinned in their half. No, we can't, as soon as I say that. Right, they've got loads of space here. Our defender's... Bearing in mind their defensive defenders are all backing off. 
Yeah, long ball over the top. Ryan's on it again. Ryan's in. Oh, he's at the post. He's unlucky. Unlucky. Their goal kick. Can we win it? Yes, we can. Preston inside to link to McNeil. Mingi moves past his attack. His challenge does well. Jowers holds it up, but then loses the ball. Right, we need to win this ball back. Harvey's got loads of space. It's okay. We'll just front them up. Preston steps in and wins it. Right, McNeil, the wing, the winger who's been asked to attack into Ryan. Ryan to link. Over the top to McNeil. He's inside. He's behind his right back. And he scores. Brilliant. We've asked to exploit that side because their right back is struggling for fitness. And McNeil had all the time in the world in behind him. Look at this. Watch McNeil make a run off him. Full back is nowhere. Takes it well. Puts it in the corner. That's 2-1 Chesham. Brilliant from us. Exposed their weakness in their defence. Surely they've got to change him at half time, you think. Right, my right back is struggling. He's on a 6.2. Dressing room. Team talk. You played well, but there's room for improvement. I'm going to tell everyone, I still think there's more to come from all of them. End the team talk. Tactics-wise, what are we looking at? Jameson is on a 6.6. .6. He's only on 64%. Right, swap for Nyako Sinclair. We need to keep an eye on Campbell, the right back here. Um, apart from that, we're doing all right. Or do I need to take Jowers off? Bring Marsden on. Yes, bring Marsden on. He can do the same job. Start second half. Right, we're 2-1 up. Let's build on this. We're up to sixth with this three points if we can keep hold of it. Let's see what's happened with their fullback. He's still playing. The number two is still on. Right, McNeil. Roast him now. Link. Into Mingi. To Marsden, the deep line forward. Just come on. Back to Link. Mingi. Marsden peels off and picks the ball up again. Mingi. Looks to Marsden. He's pulled off his man. Cross comes in and there's McNeil with his second goal. The winger pushed up slightly further than the right-sided player. Attacking that fullback who's struggling. And he's got two goals from it, which is brilliant. 3-1 Chesham. 30 seconds into the second half and we've got a goal. Brilliant from us. My right back. He's only on a 6.1 or whatever he's on. Preston controls the ball, brings it under, and looks for a pass out, but he's got nobody there. Gives it away and they're in with a long ball over the top. Harvey, Trickett Smith, easy goal. Yeah, look, just gives it away, Preston. Hoof it up to Harvey, who takes it well first touch. Three, three centre-backs, or three centre-backs, three defenders can't even deal with that. Marvellous. 3-2 with half an hour to go. I need to make a change. Um, Whittingham's going to come on and play the opposite side to what he normally wants to play. He doesn't like doing that there, but he's going to have to do a job. Right, they finally changed their right back. So with that, I'm going to put McNeil back on a winger on support just to balance the team out. We've got a goal kick before that change is made. Ryan wins the header, Link, Marsden, the deep line forward, plays it into McNeil, who's looking to attack and run off the fullback again. Mingi, out wide to Hodge, into Marsden, dummies it, what's happened here? Given away a free kick, right. Change is made, Whittingham comes on, 18 minutes to go, it's 3-2 and they're on the attack. Well done, Preston steps in and wins the ball, but they've picked up a second ball. Carter Henry, can we stop the cross? Sort of. Mind you, we don't deal with it again. <sighs> Header on target, Girling saves it. 17 minutes to go. We're doing all right. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to switch our mentality to counter because they're going to come at us. We're going to also go... Take, the, take that instruction off the left flank... We're going to play deeper with direct passing. Deeper defensive line to shut up shot. We're going to pass it more direct to try and deal with their... Oh, no. oh dearie me, he's missed that. That's a woeful effort. 
absolutely woeful. Four minutes of injury time. What are we going to do? Hopefully we're not going to throw this away. Well done, Link. He wins it. Marsden into Ryan. Ryan should play. Okay, we haven't done nothing with that so far. Ball over the top to Trickett Smith. And he scores and makes it 3-3. Free -free. Disappointing. Dropped points here. Not good. Look at this. We win the header. Look at this. Easy. Easy for Trickett Smith, who's had a field day today. It's 3 all. That's 3 1 up. That's disappointing. Absolutely disappointing result. As long as it stays that way, and we take a point. We're down in, in the box. Oh, dearie me. I thought it was going to be an own goal. 3 all. Not ideal at all. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow your whistle, and he has. <clears throat> Disappointing result for us. Going to tell everyone assertively, not good enough. End the team talk. So there we go. We're 8th place still. We're on 17 points now. Disappointing, and we're going to be playing Chippenham next game. Okay, this is Chippenham away, and we're going to be playing... I'm going to move Hakeem back in here. Completely rotated team, um, including the goalkeeper. Give everyone a game. Um, so, Helms in goal, Whittingham, Sinclair, Mead and Fish, Hakeem, Smith, Boot, Lilly, Marsden, Bacco, standard flexible. So, here we go. Let's see if we can pick up another, at least another point. Um, the way I see it, if you can win your home games and pick up points away from home, you'll be more than safe and looking for that mid-table where we want to be. Just a shame that the last game, three one up, we threw two goals away. And threw away two points. 20 minutes in, got an injury. Sinclair's injured. You're going to swap with Kenneth Yao, who's going to come on. Not much has been happening in this first half, apart from the injury. There's not a single shot on target from either side yet. We've not even had any. Right, they've now got an attack. They've got to throw him. They're going to look to build from that. Ball over the top. We deal with the header. Hakeem picks the ball up. Blasts it to God knows who. Right, just deal with this. Fish. The old timer. Loses the ball. And they've scored. Awful touch. Fish has got all the time in the world here. Stops the ball from going out. And then loses it. Longman can't believe his luck. Strikes it home. 1-0 chipping them. Right, half time, that was an awful half from us. We didn't create a single thing. Right, I'm looking for a response from this team. Second half, we will go down. Not a single shot on target. We need to capitalise. Right, Whittingham. Luckily enough, it comes to Boot, to Marsden. Holds the ball up, plays it to Smith, the playmaker. Into Boot. Should be a run made, there isn't one. Fish, who made that mistake, plays it into Marsden, who crosses it in and Bacco scores. There's your goal, straight from the second half. 35 seconds in. That's the second game running we've done that. Some good possession. Fish did well. Saw the run from Marsden. First time Bacco. Bacco's there. Finishes. That's one all. Right, let's now pick up. We need to pick our performances up now. Need to get ourselves in the ascendancy. Right, we've got the throw in. Whittingham up to Hakeem. Holds it up. Back to Whittingham. Over the top to Bacco, who's in. Cross comes in, but he can't find another Chesham shirt. Comes back out to Whittingham, to Mead. Oh, Bacco's in. Is he offside? He isn't offside. That's 2-1. Bacco scored twice in six minutes to give us the lead. Looked a little bit debatable, to say the least. Defender clears it. Whittingham plays it into Mead, who lumps it forward. Poor, I think it could be offside. I'm not too sure. There. The Lino's not having none of it. 2-1. We don't mind. Brilliant. I've now got another injury. Marsden's now injured. Straight swap for Jowers. Jowers comes on. There's two injuries in this game, which is not ideal. 
20 minutes to go. We're still winning 2-1. If we can just hold on here and not concede a stupid goal. Should I make that change and go counter again? Yeah, let's do that. Let's play slightly deeper on counter. I'm not changing the actual team shape in the team instructions because when you move back to counter, the, the players will automatically move slightly deeper. Maybe that was my mistake in the last game. We went far too deep. Right, we've got five minutes to go. Right, we've now got a penalty. We've got a penalty. If Hakeem scores this, we wrap it up. He scored it. That's 3-1. That should be it. Game over. Should be game over now. 3-1 to Chesham. Brilliant result. That's six goals in the episode for us. Four conceded. Very comfortable, confident penalty. That's the three points wrapped up for Chesham. This is good. We are playing much better than we have done in the last two seasons. My squad's far better. I've still got £1,500 wage budget to play with if I need to. Right. Blow the whistle referee. That should be it. And it is brilliant. So that's four points from the episode from two games. Team talk. What a comeback. So there you go. So after those two games, we find ourselves sixth now with 20 points. Five points off the lead. Played 11, won six, drawn two and lost only three. It's been brilliant from us. Much, much better. And things are beginning to look good this season. If you've enjoyed the episode, please hit the like button on YouTube. Subscribe to the channel for Football Manager content as often as I can do it. I'm Magoobidge. This is Cheshram, the Generals. Thank you very much for watching.